Okay, so we just bought a collection of dinky toy planes out of a, an estate. So I just thought, as I unwrap them here, I just want to see what we actually got. So, some, let's see, some little planes, a little Tempest fighter. That's very nice. Uh, there's a, yeah, there we go. Another plane, another fixin. Let's see what else we got here. Got a little, whoa. A couple little Supermarine Swifts, they look like. Okay, that's very cute. So, Starfighter, Gloucester Meteor. Well, it looks like a certain amount of junk in this box here. Some repaints. Yeah. Okay. Not too, not too much there. Okay. So, another box. So this is a re reproduction box. Too bad. It looks pretty slick otherwise. But inside. Yeah. Okay. Here's a. A nice, uh, nice sort of Whitley. Actually, that's nice. And here we have French one. That looks really quite slick. Looks perfect. Doesn't look like a repaint at all. Looks just excellent. Wow. Okay. Here we have a little gull, blue DZ. Oh, that looks near perfect too. That's nice. Okay, one of these little guys. P, that looks good. Okay. One of these. <laughs> All I can say is one of these, one of those. I don't know what they are really. So here's a dark camouflage. Albatross, it looks like. Okay. And then the box itself, but it is a repro, so. That's nice, but not quite what we want. There's another repro here. This one's empty. So, here's one that's just floating around. This is a great big uh, <laughs> Shetland flying boat or doorstop. It's uh, quite an amazing sort of plane. Plane like I can. Those were the days. A huge dinky toy aircraft. And then here, another box of stuff. We'll bring it over. We have a little blue S42, I guess it is. Oh, what does it say on there? Well, here it is. And then we got a box here. Looks like a Male composite. Okay. Inside, yeah, sure enough, it's a male composite in the box. Looks a little bit rough though. But no fatigue. Maya. Empty nose. Yeah. Good, okay. That's the box. That over there. And Another box, it's a albatross, it says. Mail liner. Maybe the box is faded in the light. Whoa. Yeah. Okay. That's nice, but not great. We have another box. It's Imperial Airways Frobisher. And there it is. The standard sort of worn look. Frobisher class airliner. Okay. Yeah, that says focus on the nose, I believe. Yeah, okay. And a giant old box. <laughs> Shetland flying boat. Man. <laughs> Can that be restored or not? That's a question. And inside, yeah, another Shetland. there though. All original props. 
There's the box. So, and the last box in here, it says Empire Flying Boat. That's what I expect. I don't know why you'd expect that, but that's what it says. DHM. It's an original box. Lovely, bright blue inside, the way they all looked before the sun got them. So, there's that. Now, another box. Okay, let's try this one. Down here. Okay, there's a York airliner. Very nice. But relatively common, I'm afraid. I, I understand. There's a little, well, it's an old price tag. Doesn't really reflect what I ended up paying. This is a repro. I, it's been redone, you can tell. I, how can you tell? Well, look at this. It looks, if you can see the roughness there, they somebody spray painted over the original paint. So that's that. Another, another York in the box this time. Nice. Repro box again. Inside a mishmash of a. Oh, that's really quite a nice little. Uh, what a gladiator! Can I focus on that? Yeah, that's a nice little unit. Okay, so I can fly back there. A couple of battles, and here's a Singapore in. Not that great shape when you look at the tail. Somebody's done something to the tail. But it's still, <laughs> like the vicar said, uh, bits of it are excellent. But not that many, so. And further down in here, oh, here's a, here's a dandy one here. This is an original DAZBK. Excellent condition. <laughs> and original, you can just tell. And it says giant high speed monoplane. Yeah. Okay. That's worth the price of admission right there. So, in a similar vein, here's a same sort of casting, but different DA though, German registration. JU90, it says on the wing there. I don't know if that focuses. Oop, that didn't. Come on. Come on, Nelly. There you go. And I notice somebody put 400 bucks on that. It's a Vectus tag. Many years ago, I bet. Also in here, same casting again, but this is some sort of British registration. GATBK. And no German stuff here. It's just high speed monoplane. And. There's another uh, Frobisher casting, but in blue this time. Nice condition. And digging deeper here. Oh, here's a, a Vulcan, believe it or not. That's very neat. But I don't know if it's 9 out of 10. There's a heck of a wing chap, and somebody sawed off the wheels. But it's still a genuine article. So. Again, another dinky toy. These are all dinkies. This little French Potes, I think it is. Well, I think it's called a Potes. Hmm. Nice. This is the Dutch registration, PHALIDC2 tail wheel. This was the plane, PHALI, the actual plane that Leslie Howard died in. Anyway. Well, the dinky was aware of that. Here's a, an explorer. Nice. So I've got some little tags on. Okay. And what do we call this? We have. There's a little auto gyro. Nice little guy. Looks like a replacement prop, maybe, but everything else looks 
Okay. And another auto gyro, auto gyro two. Pilot sitting there, the old gold paint. Okay, and then auto gyro three. Man, look at that, eh? But this one, <laughs> some of the old prices. This is a redo. Nice enough, but it is a redo. So, and flying boat. Yeah. And some horrible repaints. And replacement floats, too, I think. Oh my goodness, why bother? So, there's one more box here. And what we got is a repo Vulcan box. Okay. That weighs a ton, and it's got a <laughs> strange Vulcan. It weighs a ton. I would say this is cast out of lead. Pretty good casting, but Delta Wing Bomber, 749. Yeah, that's lead casting. I appeal, but no other appeal. No me appeal. So, and then the second repo Vulcan box. There is, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, a real Vulcan. Okay, that is a pretty nice one, actually. Yeah. I mean, most of the decals are there. All the plane is there. And it's funny, comparing the underwing on the reproduction, it has nothing in here. But here we have Dinky Toys made in England by Cano. 749. Okay, well, that's interesting. Continuing on, there's a box mail composite. And here's a pretty good mail composite as these things go, I guess. It's all there. No fatigue. Well, this one has a solid front. The other Mayo didn't. It was uh, open. They didn't have a bit there. So. And. <laughs> moving right along here. Moving right along. Another PHALI in the box. DC3. Yep. That one's pretty nice. It's got a tail wheel instead of a teal tail stud or whatever they call them. Another. <laughs> this had been on the top shelf for a long time, I can tell. It's just covered with dust. I wonder how long that was, wherever it was. Another Empire Flying Boat. No, not so good, it looks like. It just has that. Weathered look, canopus, or canopus, canopus, yeah, that's it. And proceeding along to the end here, I think, this is, huh, nice little King's Airplane box. King's Airplane box, but not such a nice King's Airplane. It's like fully deposed. That is <laughs> well played with now the boils. And then, actually the, the box here, Got to try by count. Three. Yeah. Nice in the box. And it looks like we're running to 14 minutes here. And the other thing that came with it was just a whole series of triang stuff. Triang boats. <laughs> and uh, the entire. The entire triang harbor, all the cranes, all the docks, all the boats. So all in all, I guess a fairly <laughs> interesting collection to buy. Whether it's worth it nowadays with all the dinky toy people and the trying people fading away. <laughs> is, it, was it, was it a good deal? I don't know. Anyway, a lot of fun. And uh, there are a couple of dandies here. The two, this guy here, this one, perfect condition. 
And the other one in perfect condition was the uh, French, French one. Now I've gone and buried it. Huh? So, I don't want to do that. Oh, yeah. This one. Huh, yeah. Oops. There it is. Arc-en-ciel. As I say, it appears to be fine. The paint is perfect. It's not where you it's, it wouldn't expect it to be. And the spray inside, yeah, it's real. Good grief. Okay, cool. So I guess um, that's it. If I get any more, <laughs> I'll, I'll let you know.